Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Welcome back. So midweek already tomorrow, and it is going to be another beautiful day. It kind of gets your mind thinking about spring because it's going to feel like it. And in just one week, it will be, no matter what the weather. So the 19th, 11.06, that is the equinox. Uh, so one more week of winter, and it's going to go out very spring-like. Uh, so as we look downtown tonight, beautiful night, calm wind, temperature right around 33. Uh, we should go through the night with the uh, mainly clear to partly cloudy sky and then warmer weather as we go into the day tomorrow. I think low to mid 60s easily and even Thursday we have an opportunity of flirting with 60 before some wet weather arrives late in the day and then Friday there's going to be some showers around for the parade Saturday in the morning. Some drizzle, some mist, cloudy, but we'll get into a little partial clearing for the afternoon and actually some of the new information now for St. Patrick's Day. Maybe a little luck on our side. I do think there's going to be a few showers around though, but hopefully we can taper that off and at least salvage at least parts of St. Patrick's Day before it turns colder. Again, as we go into next week, which like I just mentioned is spring and we kind of go back to winter next week. Uh, so not much going on out there tonight, mainly clear to partly cloudy uh, temperatures into the 30s across to the Mohawk Valley here down into uh, the central leather stocking region. Uh, it's 35 right now in Richfield Springs and up north temperatures dropping uh, into the 20s. Blue Mountain Lake Old Forge at 31. There's the old storm system from yesterday, still kind of curling around colder air, some snow into Halifax, Nova Scotia. That storm moving away and then we look south and west and we have warmer air that is building here in mid country. Uh, that is what's going to arrive here through the day tomorrow. Now there's one little fly in the ointment tomorrow in that there might be a brief little sprinkle. Uh, you can see it uh, maybe down near I-88, uh, parts of Otsego County. This is only going to last like five minutes and then it'll be partly mostly sunny. I think by the afternoon, uh, low and mid 60s. Now on Thursday, clouds will start to increase the best chance of a shower Thursday will be at the very finish of the day. So like near and after sunset, which is now at seven. So most of the day Thursday should be fine. And if we can get enough sun Thursday, I think low 60s again, we'll see how fast clouds uh, roll on in. Tonight, as we roll, clear to partly cloudy, quiet, calm, lows, low and mid 30s through the day tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny. A brief five minute sprinkler shower of meaningless little consequence. Enjoy it, 64, and you can see all that warmth again working its way to the east here as we go through the rest of the week, but we kind of start to lose the anomaly a little bit as we go into the weekend. So enjoy tomorrow and enjoy Thursday too. Showers late, there will be some wet weather at times Friday, turning cooler. The sky clears Saturday, but for the parade, some drizzles, some sprinkles early, but not bad. You know, upper 40s to near 50. Hopefully uh, we can uh, catch a bit of a break here on St. Patrick's Day. Probably a few showers though. Uh, and then colder next week, Tuesday spring and snow showers with temperatures in the 30s. You knew gonna, it had to happen. I'm going to focus on the not bad it's, for the yeah, parade day. You know what? The, the next tomorrow especially is going to be great Thursday yeah. too. So you're right. Let's just focus on yep. getting for through now. that first. <laughs> yeah. Like that's such a bad thing. Yeah, right? I know. All right. Thanks, Craig. Still yeah. to come on Eyewitness News at 11. Governor Hochul has announced over $111 million in investment in railroad infrastructure. That story and more coming up next.